Hey guys, what's up? In this video today, I'm going to be showing you how you can use your Mac as a uh, wireless Bluetooth keyboard um, for your iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch um, using the app called uh, iKeyboard from the Mac App Store. So the first thing you want to do is download iKeyboard from the Mac App Store. Um, it costs $10, but it's definitely worth it. Uh, so after you download it, go ahead and go into your Bluetooth settings and turn it on. Um, so once it's on, you want to go onto your iPod um, and you're going to want... By the way, sorry that it's pink, it's just my sister's iPod, so uh, yeah. Um, you're going to go into settings and then general and turn Bluetooth on. Um, with that little switch. Uh, so after it's on, you want to, you know, you can't really, you know, see. Sorry about the green screen quality, you know, I'm new to this whole thing. So on your Mac, go and connect to uh, your green screen. Uh, no, <laughs> sorry, to your iPod. Um, and as you can see, it says connected right there. Uh, Let's zoom in so you can see, yeah, connected. Uh, so now we're gonna go into notes to demonstrate this to you. Go into notes and I'm just gonna start typing. Uh, so zooming out so you can see better. Um, and I'm typing on my keyboard right now and you can see that um, what I'm typing kind of goes onto the iPod. Uh, and it also uses, um, you know, co like regular commands. Like if you wanted to select all, you could do command A and it would select all. Uh, so, yeah. By the way, I am extremely sorry about the quality of this video. Um, you know, it kind of looks weird. Um, right now I'm doing a, a voiceover because, um, you know, two cameras and using two cameras and the audio. No, sorry, two microphones didn't really work. So I'm using a voiceover in my Mac, so I apologize if, um, I don't know, if you want me to apologize. Um, so yeah, anyways, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up. Thank you, good day.